What's going on guys, your boy Maze, we're back with another video and in today's video guys, me going over the 622 information on maintenance details for JP Grand Cross. Um, guys, we got the uh, update schedule here and I'm recording this a little bit late than usual um, because I actually woke up and saw this this morning. Um, but I didn't make the video because I was tired, I was super tired man. I, I would have recorded it but it wasn't like anything too important. But yeah guys, let's hop in and let's kind of go over the update. So this is actually another dead week on JP. I thought this would be a banner week initially because, um, you know, the last banner we did get on JP was Tristan. Um, which, you know, every two weeks Grand Cross drops a banner. But I guess they decided to not drop the banner this week. Um, but what they did drop though is going to be Underground Labyrinth. So Underground Labyrinth Season 5 will be replacing uh, Heroes Arena. So it's going to be swapping out the slot. And uh, for you guys that have not done a Labyrinth before, pretty much it's going to be like a roguelike. You go through it, you get some rewards, and uh, along the way, you actually are going to be able to get uh, some LR coins for Lossy and Meliodas, which is pretty nice. Um, in terms of the uh, outfit here, I don't know who's uh, which Meliodas gets this outfit. Um, maybe Purgatory Meli or Lost Vein. Um, or maybe just the Festival Melis in general. I don't know uh, what they're going to do for that. Um, but the card is going to be there, and then this free outfit for Meliodas will be available in the Labyrinth Exchange Shop. Um, and then, yeah, 30 gems as well. Um, they did, uh, I think they updated the Labyrinth reward box, I think they did. Um, maybe. Yeah, and then, uh, this is pretty much, like, the main part of the update, guys. And then the next thing we got is going to be the, uh, Great Reward Dungeon. They're updating this a little bit. So they're going to be adding, I guess it's like, uh, what is this? Um, Engraving Stones. Um, so that's going to be available right there. And then the other big thing that's coming with the update, guys, is actually going to be the Beast Battle Third Floor Confirmed Rewards and Double Artifact Card Event. So actually during this period when clearing the third floor of the Monster Battle, the amount of confirmed rewards and the probability of obtaining an artifact card will be doubled. So you get double the drops and you actually get double artifact cards. So that's really good. Alright, so example here, guys, is going to be the Origin of Wind, Origin of River, Origin of Twilight 1 uh, to 2 can be acquired. And then the uh, Skull and Hardy artifact cards are doubled, applies to uh, all the Demonic Beast battles, it looks like. So that's pretty good, man. So you actually, uh, the artifact cards will be doubled and you'll be able to get um, two instead of one. So it's actually best time to be farming uh, Demonic Beast battle, which is really good. And then uh, they do have a battle event here, guys, as well, too. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's nothing too crazy. And then they did mention that the change schedule for the June Hog Pass will be on the 29th. So I kind of, I didn't even think about it. But like on the uh, the past updates, like when we got Tristan, like I have to go back to the Tristan update and show you guys. Um, but they mentioned when we got Tristan that his outfits would actually be, um, where is it? I think they, uh, when they released Tristan here. Uh... Oh, this is a little bit too far back. Let me, uh, oh, Java update. Look at that. Um, let me uh, find it here. Tristan appearance. Yeah, new characters, Tristan. So right here, um, when they mentioned Tristan, I think they mentioned that his outfits will not be available until, I have to go back to the main patch notes. Let me just find that real quick. My bad, guys. Um, I guess this one. Yeah. So when you go to uh, Tristan here, they mention, or when we get to the outfit section, I think they mentioned that um, Tristan will be getting outfits on the 29th, I think it's right here. Yeah. So the costumes for the new character, Future of Le Leonis Prince Tristan, will be released during maintenance on Thursday, June 29th. So I probably should have used that uh, and, and kind of assumed you would be getting a, uh, you know, um, a banner on that day and not uh, today or tomorrow. Um, but I guess they decided to do that, so... Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the patch notes, though, man. Uh, you know, nothing too crazy, but we are all going to be getting an extra 20 LR coins, as you guys saw right here, and a free Meliodas outfit in the Labyrinth Exchange Shop. So that's going to be pretty cool, man. Um, and the thing is with Labyrinth, too, is that it doesn't require box DC. It doesn't require characters build. That's why I think this is probably the best game mode that you can actually acquire LR coins from. And I didn't, I don't know, actually, if the LR coins are going to reset throughout the event or if they're just always going to be 20. Because my idea was like, would they do 20 per week in the exchange shop or would they do just 20 outright? Um, because it's kind of, you know, uh, when you think about it, right? It's like, if they have 20 in the exchange shop the entire labyrinth period, that's kind of going to suck. But with Heroes Arena, you can get way more than 20 throughout the entire period, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, that's just uh, my thoughts on the top of my head. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it though, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. 
Peace out and have a good rest of your day.